first question is for John Quell. Uh, John Quell, a new Liberty career high for you with 29 points, which also happens to be your 10th game overall in the Liberty career with 20 points. You know, what do you think has been the difference this season that's allowing you to be more effective offensively than maybe last year? Um, well, I'm in better shape, obviously. Um, I think it was everything was new last year. So it was just figuring things out and figuring my teammates out. And so now it's less of that and, and way more chemistry. So it's all working out. Uh, Sandy, I'm curious about uh, J uh, Jade Melbourne, especially you know as you're trying to navigate your bench lineups against um, Washington. What exactly did you know their bench, especially with her, present as far as a different look and what you like to adjust to? Speed kills. I think she was trying to impress the coach, try and make the Olympic team. She did that um, <laughs> two games in a row. Look, she's got speed, and we didn't do a great job of navigating that and keeping her in front. But then, you know, credit to Washington, regardless of their uh, record, they're competing so hard, and their movement really kind of gets you staggered. We were tired. I would admit that too. Mentally, we were all over the place. So we tried to mix up a zone and a triangle and two. And a, but Jade uh, did a great job of going downhill, and it's it's good. Okay, now I, since we won, it's good. But you know, she uh, she made some threes too, and that was the next um, evolution of her game. Uh, JJ, obviously you guys had five games in eight days. I think it was probably the most squished Commissioner's Cup schedule out of all the teams. But this group didn't use that as an excuse. So what are the examples that you saw in these past eight days from this team that sort of illustrated the, the hunger that resulted in you guys winning every single Cup game? Yeah, I think it was the professionalism. Even like last night, getting back on the bus to come back home, like everybody's in Norma Tech. People are kind of just using whatever time we have to recover and, and be ready for the next game. But we understood that regardless of the situation we're in, we can use every game, every opportunity to get better um, and, and be ready so that in the playoffs, we'll be able to say that we've kind of been tested in various situations. Hey, Leo. Great game today, and you hit four threes, the first of which was on the, uh, behind the back pass from JJ. <laughs> Your teammates were looking for you a lot, and you were shooting that with confidence, and you played, I believe, the whole fourth quarter. What, what have you seen from yourself in terms of from where your role was to how it's grown? I know you're getting more comfortable, but that allowed you to have this performance today. Yeah, just um, getting to know my teammates better, how they want to play, where they want the balls, and which player is good in which action, and just kind of playing off of them, um, I think really helps us all together on the court. And then um, I just like to bring energy, honestly. Um, and I think that helps the team. Hi, everybody. Um, for Sandy, in addition to Leo, a lot of good minutes from KB, and we saw Marquesha and Ivana play as well. As especially for a schedule like this that's been so jam-packed, how valuable is it to have a bench that's ready to contribute and does well in the ways that they did today? Yeah, it's necessary. Um, you know, obviously we trust everybody. Leo's really taken big steps up. Kennedy's made the most of her minutes when she's there. I thought Ivana had really good minutes for us as well because uh, I thought we needed a another handler out there. And, you know, um, at, at any given time, uh, the schedule as we move forward is still compact as well. So especially after the Olympics. So we're going to have to rely on our bench as much as we can and grind out wins. That's, uh, you know, that's a step forward for us. Maybe we could have lost this last year. I would probably attest to that. But we, ha we found some resiliency when we needed it. Sandy, uh, over here on the right. Um, it seemed like Stewie played a little bit more energized in the last yeah. quarter and a half. I was wondering if you said something to her or what you saw differently from her over the final 15-ish minutes of the game from the, the first 25. She understands the moment. I didn't have to say anything to her. I just kind of said, "This is our. We're a, we're a good fourth quarter team. We're we're good in the crunch. We've shown that. We've got great clutch minutes. It's just everyone just raising. Um, they're a little a little bit more focused. Under fatigue, you just got to be able to push through. And that's like JJ said. It's just about being a professional. How can I help the team win right now? Leo, when did you, I guess, realize or, or feel like you had made the transition this, this season with finding your role and, and, and spot in this offense? Um, and I guess how easy or hard was it to get to that point to, to find it? Yeah, I mean, I've said this before. I think at this point I've played more games than practice. Um, <clears throat> it's hard to come in and, you know, don't get any time, like, live action in practices with, with my teammates. Um, so I think, like, the more minutes I get, the more time on the court I get, um, the more comfortable I can feel out there. Coach, how difficult or easy will it be with the season moving forward 
with the Olympics smack dab in the middle? How are you going to manage the team as well as manage rest and players and all of that stuff? Yeah, look, um, you know, I've done it before. It's it's just a part of it. We're all there. And um, I love coaching Australia as well. I was coaching the Liberty. So July 17th, I'll jet off after our last game against Connecticut. And that's where my focus will turn to the Opals. I've got great, great staff behind me uh, back in Australia preparing the team. And I have most of my teams here. Um, so they're getting good preparation too. And, um, yeah, I love what I do. It's it come to work. I mean, I love being busy. So it's a passion. So you go into the Olympics, I think everyone finds energy. And then when we come back, we're, we talked about our bench. You know, we have a few players, including Leo and Niara, going to the Olympics with our two USA. Um, you know, we just have, they'll prepare. We'll prepare the best we can. And, um, you know, you just got to love, love what we do. Hello all, congrats on the win. My question is for uh, John Quill. This was uh, the team's first win on Ellie's birthday and there was a big crowd for that. So how important, on that note, how important was it to secure home court advantage for the Commissioner's Cup final, especially considering you guys went on the road last season? Yeah, I mean, our fans are amazing. They, they show up, they show out, um, and they give us the extra boost that we need to, re to really just win games. And so, um, yeah, we're happy that they're going to be able to, to watch the Commissioner's Cup and they're going to be able to cheer us on and we want to go out there and do everything possible to get the win for them. Hey, Sandy, back here. Uh, we talked about the tough stretch, uh, six, six games, ten days. Just you stayed undefeated, of course. How would you sum up the team's overall performance in those games in this tight schedule? Really good. I thought we took some, a lot of steps forward. Um, you know, after the, the two losses that we had, it was more of a – uh, a wake up call more than anything cuz uh, okay we have to play we have to play better we have to play more connected we have to you know our, our biggest strength is strength in numbers um, but you know these are just professionals and and you know obviously take pride in what they're doing this is their jobs and i thought we just came together our connection came you know our commitment came better everything became better so uh, this last stretch has been great for us and we faced a lot of adversity there's no easy games anymore on the WNBA so um, and that's going to make us better because last year we gained so much experience we're still learning about each other and now we're ga gaining so much experience of grinding out how to win when it's not pretty um, so I think we've taken a lot of steps forward there and, you know, we'll freshen up now and we've got to then get ready for the next stretch, which is a little different because it's not Commissioner's Cup. So now we'll focus on the next part of it. And, you know, we're going back to, to face Vegas in our next game. John Quill, just wondering what you think makes you guys such a good fourth quarter team. I mean, Sandy said it a minute ago. And today specifically coming off of that back-to-back, -back, what is it that you were able to do to kind of Give yourselves that extra little burst uh, of energy at the end there. Yeah, I think we have veterans, and it shows late, you know, that people understand the moment, like like Sandy was saying earlier. And I think we lock in and we take it to another level. Um, I think our area of growth is going to have to be just trying to find those moments a little bit earlier in games to get out of those situations. But um, ultimately, I think it comes down to that, just people that understand the moment, have been in this league, and understand what it takes to win. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, guys.